Namaste to all. My name is Subramanian Chidambaran. And today, I would be giving a presentation on the concept of strategic decision making as inferred from the ancient Indic literature. When we look at ancient Indic literature, we have a lot of literature starting right from the Vedas, the Smritis, the Itihasas, the Puranas. The concept of leadership has been presented in various of these texts. However, the Artha Shastra of Kautilya presents this concept of leadership in a very structured way, probably for the first time in ancient Indic literature, having a dedicated focus on this topic. Right in the beginning of the Artha Shastra itself, Kautilya says that it is a synthesis of all the relevant literature that was existing at his time and even before him. Purvacharyaihi prastapitani Prayashahatani Samhritya Ekam Idam Arthashastram Kritam. So, this Arthashastra has been composed after carefully considering all those thought processes, and it can be considered as a synthesis of all these thought processes. It is hence that I have considered the Arthashastra as the primary source uh, for this paper presentation. And this is the earliest extinct work that we have which speaks exclusively, dedicatedly on polity, leadership, administration, and all these topics. And the beauty of the Arthashastra is that it has the backing of practical demonstration as well. So as we, as we all know the historical part of it, that the first pan-Indian empire to happen in Bharata Varsha was that of the Mauryas. And Chanakya or Kautilya was instrumental in the establishment of this empire. So we can consider that the, that the Arthashastra was more or less a practical guide, a manual that was put together by Kautilya after actually witnessing many of these things happening in reality. So it, it also has got that unique distinction. Now let's come to the concept of strategy and strategic decision making as we see in the Arthashastra. The term used for strategy or counsel, it is mantra in Arthashastra they use the term mantra. Mantra yate, abhimantritam. These are the various verbal forms that is used. So the one who executes this mantra is actually called the mantri. And that is how the concept of mantri comes in the Arthashastra. In fact, there is an entire chapter dedicated in the first adhikarana called the Hinayadhikarana. The chapter is called as mantra adhikara. So it speaks about the adhikara of mantra. That is, who is eligible for mantra? How should mantra be executed? What are the stages of mantra, etc.? So it speaks about the nature of strategy and the strategic decision making. Nartha Shastra Kautilya says, Mantra Purvaha Sarvarambaha. That is the very essence or the beginning of everything is mantra or strategy. So strategy is the beginning point. He emphasizes on the aspect of confidentiality. He says, Confidentiality is the focus, is the primary aspect. That's why he quotes, he says, Tasman mantra uddesham anayuktona upagacheta. Where it is not appropriate or applicable, in those places this should not be discussed. And those who come to know of it, who are not eligible for it, should not be left to dissipate this information to uh, other quarters. Uchidhyeta, mantra bhedi, the one who does the ullanghana of the mantra, the rules of the strategy, who dissipates the strategy or makes the strategy known to others. It should be a secretive thing. The Once it is known to others, that strict penal action must be taken against those people. And how do you know that the mantra bheda has happened, that the uh, ullanghana of the mantra has happened? The strategy has been disclosed. How do you know that? you should observe the behaviors of the dutas and the amatyas, which is the who form part of the mantri parishad itself. 
ಇಂಗಿತ ಆಕಾರಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯ ಇಂಗಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫೇಶಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಯುರ್ ನಾನ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ವೆದರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ವೆದರ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವೆರ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲಿ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ಮಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ನೋ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ದೋ ದ ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಮಚ್ ಬಿಗರ್ ಕಾನ್ಗ್ರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಟು ಹೂ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ಗೆದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯ ಡಿಬೇಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ವ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕುಡ್ ಕೊಲ್ಯೂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಅ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈ ಆರ್ ಅಬೌ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ದ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ಲೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕೌಟಿಲ್ಯ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂತ್ರೀಸ್ ಹು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ elements of strategy a very very beautiful concept that uh, a very staggered process that kautilya explains he says karma arambhanam aramba upaya purusha dravya sampat desha kala vibhaga vinipata pratikara karya siddhi panchango mantra panchanga there is five angas of the mantra of strategy or counsel karmanam arambha upaya the fundamental elements that need to be in place for even the activity or that strategic execution to begin purusha dravya sampad the human resources and material resources the assets that need to be in place desha kala vibhaga the allotment of rightful time and space for that activity to happen vinipata pratikara the road blocks the risks that are that could possibly come that could stop this activity must be enlisted and they should be mitigated the risk mitigation strategy in karya siddhi the success of the project see how beautifully in a very very simple format kautilya has laid down the essentials that need to have a strategic execution happen the thought process he says swapaksham parapaksham cha chintayo so when you are thinking about the strategic execution especially in the modern modern context you just need not think or should not think about your own perspective what would be the perspective of the competitor what would be the perspective of perspective of some other authority some other stakeholders what will each of these people think we must bring all those viewpoints together swapaksham parapaksham that's why he says parapaksham that parapaksham could mean any number of stakeholders and what is their viewpoint or what is their aspect that need to be considered finally he says the four elements of strategic execution he says akrut arambham something that has not started must start arabdha anushthanam the one that is started must progress anushthita vishesham something that is already progressing must be enhanced niyoga sampadam cha karmanam karmanam kuryu and right kind of instructions and right kind of orders and right kind of rules must be followed in all these aspects so in a very very beautiful concise concept the arthashastra itself is huge even in this huge arthashastra even in a few sutras itself kautilya has been able to capture the essence of what strategy is what strategic decision making is and i'm sure each of this nuggets of wisdom can be expanded well for the modern context so this is what i had to share with all of you i'm sure this was useful dhanyavadah